four shortcuts to keeping your New Year's resolutions. Richard Wiseman is author of 59 Seconds, Think a Little, Change a Lot. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. Um, it's so difficult to keep different resolutions. Why is that? Well, uh, our research shows that around about 80% of people will fail in their New Year's resolution. And the reason is they don't realize how difficult long-term behavioral change is. So right. they'll, they'll keep going for a week, maybe two weeks, then they'll just drift back to those old habits. But it doesn't have to consume all of your energy to do these different changes. And one of the things that you say, especially when it comes to eating, and people start the New Year say, I'm going to slim down some, you say it's doable. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, the whole book is about these, these scientifically supported techniques that are quick but effective. Right. So, uh, for example, if you want to uh, cut down on uh, unhealthy eating, placing a mirror in the kitchen makes you more self-aware when you go in there, reduces unhealthy eating by around about 30%. So, quite honestly, you're saying, and quite literally, you should watch what you eat. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, if you have an eye on it, you'll have, be much more conscious about what you're putting in your mouth. The other uh, one of the, your tips in these 59-second ideas is start scribbling. Scribbling what? Well, uh, this is all about expressive writing. Uh, and again, the research is, is very consistent on this, that uh, if you're in a relationship and you scribble those notes saying, you know, I love you, I miss you, whatever, right. uh, you're 20% more likely to stay together. So it's that quick 59-second tip again, and it makes a huge impact on your life. Wow. So just in the day-to-day, -day, the sort of being, making a mental, not just a mental note, but making the physical note to say, I care about someone, makes a difference in the long-term relationship. Absolutely. It changes the language people use, uh, mm -hmm. far more positive towards one another. This is very interesting. If you took a minute a day to think about what people would say at your funeral, yeah. how would that change your life? Well, this is all about your legacy. It's about long-term goals and motivation. So you think, what would you like your best friend to stand up and say about you in terms of your family life, in terms of your career, and are you on track to you achieve that? You like to that? party. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. That was a, that, that, <laughs> so, so then the question is, are you on track with that? And mm -hmm. it helps people with long-term planning and, and to move to where they want to be. Wow, very interesting. Last but not least, the notion of some simple thing that you can do to help day-to-day -day relationships. And what do you say it is? It's a simple touch on the upper arm, a very light touch, a very quick touch, uh, but that makes people far more likely to, to help you. Uh, so the studies, are if you're in the street asking for change, for example, mm -hmm. or you're trying to get someone to help you out, very light touch, upper arm, about 30% more likely to be successful. Really? With, and that's without getting human resources involved? Absolutely. It's, it's a, a light, quick touch. All right, very good. Richard Wiseman. Very interesting. Thank you very, very much. Pleasure.